Jamie here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to kind of get your BBC News widgets back. Now, sadly, it won't be through the BBC app, surprisingly, because they have actually gone and taken it away. Um, but instead, we're going to use this app called Feedly because they do have widgets on it that we can use. So if you go to your Play Store and go to, well, search for Feedly and you'll get one here that says Feedly Smarter News Reader. So we're just going to open that up. Now we need to sign up, it's totally free to do so. There is some paid aspects to this app, but for the stuff that we need will be free. So we're gonna click on get started for free. Now you can either sign in with your email address or if you go to sign in with Google, you'll just sign in with your Gmail account. That's the quickest option, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, once you've uh, logged into the app, we're gonna click on add content. And then where it says type a name, we're gonna click on that and you can put in BBC News and enter that. Now, there's going to be a bunch of options, but some of these are just not updated. I don't know why, but like some of these are really outdated. So if I went on South Asia, some of these news articles, they're from like 2016. So definitely don't want to click on some of these. You can, you can go through them and just check to see if there's any that you like that are actually up to date. You can see there the ones that are updated because they'll say like four hours or a few days. So anyway, for, for just normal news, uh, the top two are the best options. So we can click on the top option and that this will like show a mixture of different news so this could be um the breaking news it can be about football it can have royal family politics just a bit of a mixture if you're happy with that you can um click on the little plus symbol next to it or if you want to try the second one down um this one would be just be uh news just like breaking news up-to-date news popular news um I think that one probably be the more popular option. I might be mistaken, you might want a mixture or whichever one you want, we're gonna click on the little plus symbol next to it, okay? It's gonna want us to create a folder. Now these folders are important because when you create a widget, it will then let you pick which folder you want. And so I'm gonna create a folder here. I'm gonna call it BBC News. You can call it whatever you want though. And I'm gonna create that. And just for the first folder, it's like a very small glitch. For some reason, when we we try and create it, it's going to come up with the same screen, but it's going to say uh, duplicate label. So we're going to click on cancel, and then we're going to tap on BBC News where we've just created that folder. So I'm just going to tap on that, and now it's going to come up saying it's been added. So I'm going to click on done. So if I just swipe over, uh, you can now say see uh, the folder I've created there called BBC News, and underneath we've just got the BBC News. Fantastic. Right, so if we want more than one folder, we're going to tap where it says feeds and then create new folder. And this time I want BBC tech. So I want some technology uh, news. So I'm going to click on create. And can you see there it says BBC tech. So I'm going to tap on that. And then it's going to say add content. So I'm going to type BBC news again. So BBC news. And I'm going to scroll down. Now, the best one I found is the one, I'll put a little square around it to show you which one I mean. So if you click on that one, you're going to get more up-to-date news. So you, these are only uh, less than a week old. We're going to click on, on this one here. So I'm going to do the little plus symbol and then I'm going to choose BBC Tech. And then I'm going to click on Done. Okay, if we swipe over, yep, we can see that's been added. And then, for example, Sports, so I'm going to click on Feeds again. I'm just going to tap on it. And this time I'm going to type BBC Sports and then click on Create. And then I'm going to tap on BBC Sports. Now you're going to get a bunch of different options here. Now it looks like you've got a lot of options, but like with the other one, it's really outdated. So if I wanted to click on Premier League, UK edition, it's going to be really, really outdated news. Now, this one's from 2012, so that's not a good option. So, the one that you actually want to do is the top option that says BBC Sports. So, we're going to, if we just tap on that, it will show you more up to date sports news. So, we're going to click on the little plus symbol and then we're going to tap on BBC Sport. And that's been added. Right. So I'll show you what we need to do now. So we need to go to uh, the widgets, find where it says Feedly and 
put that on your screen there. Now, this is why those folders are really important because now it's gonna let you choose um, what news you want for this widget. So the top one, I want it to be BBC News. And then you can make it a bit bigger if you want. Pretty cool. Uh, with the BBC News app before, you could swipe it uh, to get to a different story, but it doesn't do that on this app. You actually have to press the um, up arrow at the bottom right of the widget. And it will show seven different news articles, okay? So for example, if I wanted to click on this one, it will open up within the app. But if I wanted to view in the BBC app, I can click on visit website and it will open up in the BBC news app. Right, and if we wanna add another widget, and then we're gonna go back to Feedly again. This time I want sport, so I'm gonna click on this one. Now this one's a little bit different. So, uh, well, it's got the same function now, like when you click on the uh, the arrow, it will still do seven of the latest sports um, news. But when you tap on it and then go to view website, it will actually just view this one in the, um, the website essentially. So it's not brilliant, but you still get some BBC news for that, for the, the sport. And lastly, for technology, we're just gonna find Feedly again. Again, you can go through all of them. And then if you can read it within the Feedly app, or if you just scroll down to the bottom where it says view website, or sorry, visit website, it will open it in the BBC app. Uh, you can have a combination if you really want. So if we... You can get all. So it's going to do a combination of all those, those three folders. It's going to do it all in one. But again, it's only seven different news stories. We can make it a bit easier if we... There you go, and you can see what type of news it says at the bottom left-hand side of the widget. So that's BBC Sport, BBC Sport, BBC News, BBC News, BBC News, and then some technology. But yeah, then it will start to repeat itself. So again, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I, I did like the BBC News app, but this is the only way I found to kind of get around that. So you can still get your BBC News widgets. It's just slightly different. It's not perfect, but it does work. Um, if you want to remove any, um, you can hold down your finger and you can unfollow if you don't want to have that type of um, news in there. If you want to get rid of um, a folder, you hold down your finger on that and you can delete it. There we go. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you hated it, subscribe. Okay, thanks very much, everyone. Bye.